firefighters recovering from burns after a fire in Somerset County Friday night. Flames and smoke destroyed this house on Graham Avenue in Winbur and damaged a neighboring home after the roof collapsed. Jacqueline Kovac talked to firefighters tonight and has more on how it happened. Jackie? Mel, firefighters from several different departments responded to this blaze and quickly bounced into action to search for anyone who may have been left inside this duplex. Luckily, no one was found inside. However, fire, two firefighters from Richland Township did suffer second-degree burns as they tried to leave the home because of the severity of the heat. This is a look at the intense flames that consumed a Graham Avenue home in Wimber Friday night. The duplex quickly became engulfed by flames, but firefighters had to act quickly to search the home for anyone trapped inside and to stop the fire from spreading. It was contained to, to the single duplex residence. Um, it worked. Uh, the full house is damaged. It's a, it's a total loss. Um, but we did stop it from uh, going to the adjacent house uh, up the street, and that was done you know, with large volumes of water and then the Class A foam to protect that building. Two Richland Township firefighters suffered severe burns to their arms and upper body as they tried to search the home for anyone who may have been trapped inside. Uh, these gentlemen were had succumbed to intense heat and opted to exit through the uh, front window. Unfortunately, before they exited, they had been burnt, uh, second degree burns on their arms and other areas of their body. This is a look at the equipment worn by the firefighters. The two air tanks on the right burned and damaged by the intensity of the heat. The tank on the left is an undamaged tank. Both firefighters were taken to Konamoff for their burns. One was then sent to West Penn in Pittsburgh for further treatment. Richland Fire Chief Bob Hebblefinger says this is one of the risks of being a firefighter. However, both men did have several hundreds of hours of training done prior to this fire. Due to a very soon a flashover after they had left the building, there really wasn't much that these uh, young men could have done to avoid the situation. Several people who were said to be living inside the house were not home when the fire broke out. Investigators say the house is a total loss and the homeowners did not have insurance. The fire is being ruled accidental. However, the damage was so severe, authorities say it's difficult to determine what actually caused the blaze. I spoke with Wimber Fire Chief earlier this afternoon, and he did say that arson was quickly ruled out. And after speaking with the fire marshal, that accidental ruling was made. Now, as far as the two injured firefighters, both have been treated and released from the hospital, and both are expected to make a full recovery. Reporting live in the Johnstown Newsroom, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News.